Alright, I'm going to try to explain this a little bit better in this video. I downloaded a screen capture. Hopefully I can help you guys out a little bit more. First you want to go to uh, Device Manager. Make sure you have the Prolific under Ports and Comms. Each USB plug-in you have on your computer is going to be, have a different COM port. And you need to know which one that is to specify and chirp. You check your driver. Make sure it's the 3.2.00. None of the other ones I've tried will work. If you have something different here that came with the device uh, on the CD, all the stuff that was on that CD would not work with the uh, uh, UV82L that I have. Uh, it took me three or four days to get all this stuff working, but once I got it working, it was, it was it's awesome. All right, uh, if you have the wrong one, uninstall it, and whoops. <clears throat> you can get the correct one from here. I would uh, definitely print this user guide out. Here's the drivers. <clears throat> As you can see, I've already clicked on it. Uh, 3.2. Download that one. Install it. Um, next, you want to get the correct version of Chirp. You can get that here. Yes, factory stuff. I didn't have any luck with that. But uh, you can also. If you're on a chirp website for any reason, you can just go to developmental builds under a wiki and um, right here, daily depository or repository. Click here and you can find the uh, latest one. But basically, if you click this link, it's going to take you to that same page. All right. I think that pretty much does it for that. Um, I'm going to open up Chirp. I just have a folder. I put it in my uh, C. I put it on the hard drive with everything else and copied the exe file or made a shortcut to it. And then I just drug that and put it into my uh, start menu up here as you can see it just basically runs out of that folder and download from radio and there's your com make sure it's right and uh, sometimes when you start this up it wants to start on uh, UV5 or UV5R just make sure you got the correct port that you looked at in your device manager and uh, UVA2 is checked. Let's see if this will work clone while it's recording. It looks like it's doing it pretty good. And voila. Let's see if we can get it scroll down here. I'll show y'all a little trick. So I'm down to 117. You can do a query or import data. This is pretty easy. I think Radio Reference and R Finder and the other the other one, this one right here, is for uh, different countries. But this one's free. Let's see. I'll just use that one. It's already on it. You can leave uh, the band on all most of the time because there's not many other ones out there other than the 70 centimeter and the 2, uh, two meter. Just click OK and it'll try and find them for that county. And uh, this is what it can find. Most of the time they're right. I've double checked them on websites or uh, clubs around here. Some of them are pretty correct. A lot of them aren't being used. So I'm at uh, 117. I want to add to this list. So 
So I want to turn this number to 117. Now if I uh, click OK, that will add that to the bottom of the list. It's a real quick, easy way to uh, update your list without a bunch of copying and pasting, which you can also do. You can, you know, of course, copy and paste, and delete, and then move rows up. It's pretty handy. I love this program. But, uh, let's see. As you can see, they're, they're there. Um, another thing you can do is you can arrange by frequency. So if you have duplicates, it's a good way to find duplicates and uh, get them out of your list. And another thing this can do is um, it has you know, built-in calling frequencies. Uh, the marine channels, weather alert. It's pretty handy. Keeps you from digging in the FRS and GMRS channels. Which I keep them on mine just to scan through in the morning. Pick up some crazy stuff. Um, I think that's about it. If y'all have any more questions, just um, leave me a comment. Whatever. Hit me up on Google Plus.